What's up guy, it's Chris here from Hashtag Amputee. In today's video, I'm going to tell you how to select your leg, the right components. I can't show you to do that, to have quality of life. So we're going to be looking at the four aspects of having your leg made up. The first is obviously the, the socket what you have to keep in mind when you have the socket made up. The second is the liner, that is the sock that goes in underneath the socket. The third thing we'll be looking at is the knee itself. The prosthetic knee is the foot, of course, that fits the bottom of the, of the leg. So the first uh, and most important thing is to find a prosthetist. This is the guy that you're going to build a lifelong relationship with. It's a person that can listen to your needs, that of course understands all the ins and outs of having a leg made up. So since you're going to be investing a lot of money with this person and a lot of money in your equipment, you need to have a relationship of trust. Somebody that uh, comes to understand you, with whom you can have a sort of relationship where if you disagree about something, you are able to tell the person without the, without the person taking offense. Okay? What will be important here is to maybe speak to other people who have had a prosthetic leg, who have been around for a while. Take a look at the prosthetist facility. I personally, I like a nice facility, a place uh, that would suggest that the person you're working with is clinical, does a good job, possibly even um, is quite successful in, in what they do. We said four parts. It's the socket, it's the suspension or the liner, it's the knee that comes with that, and then of course the foot. So the most important thing with your socket is safety, is so that you can traverse uh, different surfaces uh, whereby you hopefully not going to lose your balance, where the twist on the leg will be minimal, uh, where the vertical movement will be minimal, whereby the lateral movement will be, will be minimal. I mean, what's the point of having a $100,000 setup on your attached to your leg with a socket that is a poor fit? It, it completely negates the effectiveness of the foot that you spent a lot of money on and the knee that you spent a lot of money on. Another important aspect of having the right uh, socket is there's something to be said for aesthetics. This is something we're going to be wearing for a long, long time. So it's, um, it's kind of desirable to have something that you like to look at when you put it on. Something that you can feel good of, even proud of. Now we come to the most, the most important part of the setup, which is the, which is the knee. And there are an amazing amount of different uh, knees from different manufacturers. And they all have different pros and cons. They're used for various applications, depending on what your lifestyle is. For me, the most important thing with the knee is safety. Is uh, That's the thing that's going to determine whether I have good balance, whether I can traverse obstacles. And the one aspect of my leg that will prevent falls, stumbles and secondary injury. Now, because knees are as expensive as they are, there are a whole bunch of factors that I think are important to take into account. The first one is the manufacturer. Do they have a reputation for manufacturing quality component? There are two in particular that I can think of. One is Osser, the other is Otto Bock. I use Osser. I use it for a number of reasons. In South Africa, where I live, their backup service is excellent. Their component availability is excellent. They're accessible. The last thing I need is to use a piece of equipment for which I need a repair. My mobility has been compromised and I need to wait for parts. So my suggestion would be that you ask your prosthetist to give you a loaner and to try different knees and to see how it fits in with the, with the different aspects of your, of your lifestyle. There are a few things that I myself considered when I chose the knee that I use. The first is how often do I walk? This is something that we don't think about a lot, but walking is such a big part of our, of our everyday, or the biggest part of our everyday activity, and it's the one thing that we need to make absolutely certain of, that we are comfortable in every aspect of our lives, whether it's at home, whether it's at work, whether it's uh, doing my sport. We will be spending the majority of the time walking. The second aspect, I think, which is really important to consider is, what are your hobbies? Do you enjoy photography, for example? Do you need to get across different landscapes? Do you need to get to inaccessible areas? The third aspect that I think is really important to consider is what are your sports? Which are the sports that you'd like to engage in? I myself enjoy numerous outdoor activities such as rowing, surfing, going for a hike. So for me, safety is really important. It needs to be a good load-bearing knee. It needs to be the kind of knee that won't give when I'm walking down slopes or going up slopes. 
also a knee that is splash proof. I go close to water when I put my kayak in the water, when I go in for a surf. So I do need something that is splash proof. You've got to bear in mind that our leg determines our quality of life. My go-to saying is that figure out what your budget is, what is the maximum that you can spend, add 50% and get the best possible knee that you can for that money. So the third part of a, of a good leg would be the foot, of course. So the foot is the uh, part of the leg that will uh, absorb the first impact. It is the first part of your leg that provides the stability upon which the rest, the rest will settle. Once again, you could ask yourself, how much flex do I need on this foot? How much torsion will I exercise in the foot? So the foot that I use, as you can see, is the uh, Oser uh, Proflex, the Oser Proflex LP torsion. And the reason I use it is it gives me a really good strike. So it gets the foot to flex. Um, it also has good torque on it. So it's got this rubber ball at the bottom that gives me the torque that I need to be able to twist and to turn and for the foot to provide the extra stability for the, for the leg. A really important part of this whole setup, a part that is often overlooked, is the shoe. It amazes me how I see people with an amazing leg setup, a really expensive leg, I'm talking about a $70,000, $100,000 setup, only for them to compromise the functionality of the entire setup that they've spent so much money on by wearing, by having poor footwear. You think of how much of the alignment, how much of the quality of the product, how much of the engineering has gone into all of this, only for us to go and buy a foot, to go and purchase a foot that throws out the balance, all the fine, the millimeters, the, uh, the micro adjustments that's gone into it, it just doesn't make any sense. From my personal experience, the foot that I found has given me the best safety, the best grip and the best overall ability to get over the most obstacles and to move around safely, I use the, uh, I use the Solomon Speed Cross. It's a good tight fit, it's got good overall support, it really pulls onto the foot and I feel that it allows the legs capacity and capabilities to be used to the maximum. A point I want to get back to is, uh, is the one of overall aesthetics. So if you look at my setup here, this is something I really enjoy. It's got the nice carbon fiber look. I like the Rio XC knee. I like the gray coloring of it. I enjoy the foot that goes with it, the functionality of it, as well as the look of it. And ultimately the black Solomon shoe, I feel compliments the whole lot. I mean, think about it guys. We spent a lot of money on putting this whole leg together. When I walk around with it, I want to feel good with it. I kind of enjoy it when people come up to me and tell me that's a good setup, it's a nice looking setup. So one of the reasons why I'd say safety is so important is, so you've got this leg, you spent a lot of money on the leg, and to walk around with it feeling anxious all the time and nervous all the time that I'm going to fall, completely defeats the object of all the thinking and all the expenses and all the engineering that's gone into a leg. Okay guys, and then something else I want to say is that um, when deciding how much money I'm going to spend on my leg, the question, should I spend that amount of money, became less important than, is it worth the risk not to spend that money. Okay, that concludes our video for today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button. Guys, please subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Ciao.